Toronto Red celebrated the end of its first season in existence in real style. A gala dinner with special guest Yap Stam on what was a very special weekend. Not only was this the weekend of the FA Cup final against our noisy neighbours Manchester City, this was the anniversary of our greatest ever season. It was 25 years on from our historic treble triumph of 1999, when Yap Stam was an iconic figure at the heart of United's defence. For the big Dutchman to be marking the occasion in Canada was an amazing accomplishment for the founder of Toronto Reds, Intec Ahmed, who was also showcasing his unique personal collection of Manchester United memorabilia. Co-founder and event management specialist Jessica Bindra made sure everything looked first class. It all added up to a wonderful atmosphere at the Four Points Hotel, just across the road from Toronto's International Airport. No wonder this unique event was sold out and well supported by local sponsors who were rewarded with a first class event that earned a glowing endorsement from the star of the show. The main event, ladies and gentlemen, Yap Stam, everybody! <laughs> Keep it going as he comes to the stage, guys! Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's great to be here. Good to see such a turnout up in Canada as well, isn't it? It's unbelievable, isn't it? I expect the two tables, but it's a little bit more than that. No, it's very good. In conversation with Hans Hansen, Yap gave a fascinating insight into life at Manchester United and the club's remarkable treble winning season. He even talked candidly about his relationship with Sir Alex Ferguson, who famously admitted that selling Yap to Lazio in 2001 was a big mistake. It's one of only a handful of mistakes he ever owned up to afterwards as well. Yeah, no, he, he did. He, yeah, he mentioned, he, he said it as well, that, that, that he made a mistake, you know, and, uh, and after that I, I became an even better player when I was in Italy, you know, but he could have bought me back as well, but he didn't, but he didn't buy me, did he? The move certainly didn't end Yap's love affair with Manchester United, and he's still a fan of our football club. So it was no surprise to hear his cup final prediction on the eve of the Wembley showdown with City. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I think United is um, is going to win this game. And uh, yeah, because I, I really, I really have, have, have a feeling, and, and it's not because of how United has been playing, of course, the whole season, because we know how they've been playing this season. If the, the focus is right and, and they show the mentality what they need to show, then I'm, I'm confident they're going to have a result tomorrow. You know, at the end of the day, we're all cheering in town and we're partying and drinking beers and bottles of wine. I'm, I'm sure of that. Or oh, a glass of water is fine by me as well. But at least we win. Yeah. In his three and a half years at Manchester United, Yapstam established himself as one of the club's greatest ever defenders. And here in Toronto, there was no doubting his immense popularity. This was a truly fabulous evening, beautifully choreographed, magnificently staged, and everyone got to spend time with a superb ambassador for Manchester United Football Club. Yapstam was a football hero on the pitch, and here in Toronto, he was a hero off it too, making sure everyone went home happy, and never getting tired of taking those precious photographs that every fan cherishes. Congratulations, everybody. That was awesome. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Then on the morning after the night before, Yap shared the experience of watching the FA Cup final with some of those Toronto Reds and its founder. And just as Yap predicted, United famously outplayed City to win the Cup. The perfect end to a perfect weekend.